Hello, and thank you for watching your transplant medicine videos. This video focuses on your most important anti-rejection medicine called tacrolimus. You will take the most anti-rejection medicines right after your transplant when the risk of rejection is the highest. Everyone will receive tacrolimus and prednisone after transplant. Some transplant patients will also receive azathioprine. However, everyone is different and your anti-rejection medicines may have to be adjusted or changed over time to meet your needs. Although these three medicines are our standard, we do have others we can use if needed. This video focuses on your most important medicine to prevent rejection, which is tacrolimus. The brand name is Prograf, but we most often call this medicine TAC. TAC must be taken every 12 hours. Choose times that work with your lifestyle to make it easier to remember but be consistent. Doses of tacrolimus are personalized to each patient and are changed over time to make sure you are always on the right amount to keep you safe and healthy. Tacrolimus doses are adjusted based on a blood test. It is very important that you do not take your tacrolimus the morning before the blood test. If you are getting your blood draws at a lab or clinic, be sure to bring the dose with you so you can take it as soon as your blood work is finished. Tacrolimus is available as three different size capsules, a five milligram red capsule, a one milligram white capsule, and a 0.5 milligram or half milligram yellow capsule. These colors may change based on the manufacturer. Changing manufacturers may affect your tacrolimus blood levels. So reach out to your transplant team if you ever notice your capsules look different than your previous supply. You cannot open, cut, or chew these capsules. They must be swallowed whole. You may have to use different sized capsules together to make your dose. Typically, liver transplant patients leave the hospital with one milligram and five milligram capsules even if they are not using both at the time of discharge. We want you to have both capsule sizes at home to be prepared as your doses continue to change. Let's practice making different doses with the available capsule sizes. To make a three milligram dose, you would have to use three of the one milligram capsules. If your dose is 2.5 milligrams, you cannot cut the one milligram capsule, so you would have to combine two of the one milligram capsules with one of the 0.5 milligram capsules. If you are on doses greater than five milligrams, you can use the five milligram capsules. For instance, a dose of seven milligrams would be one five milligram capsule combined with two one milligram capsules. If you have any questions as your dose changes over time, please reach out to your transplant nurse practitioner. Every medicine has side effects, and it is always important to be aware of these side effects. So if you feel them at home, you can notify your transplant team. If you have side effects, there are ways we can help make them better. Please never stop a medicine because of a side effect. Call your transplant team for guidance. Some common side effects with tacrolimus include tremors, headache, and confusion. These side effects are related to how much tacrolimus you are taking and tend to be worse right after transplant and improve over time. The tremors or handshakiness are not harming you. We only get concerned if they are affecting your ability to accomplish tasks at home. You can take acetaminophen for any headaches. The Crolimus can also cause high blood pressure and high blood sugars. 
We monitor very closely for this. And we also give you all the supplies you need to continue monitoring at home. If we find that your blood pressure or blood sugars are too high, we may need to start medicine, including insulin, to control them. The most concerning side effect of tacrolimus is kidney injury. We monitor your kidney function very closely after transplant. And if we find that your kidneys are not tolerating the tacrolimus well, we can make changes to your medicines. To keep your kidneys safe, remember to avoid the NSAIDs, including ibuprofen, brand name Motrin and Advil, naproxen, brand name Aleve, as well as high doses of aspirin for pains or aches. This is an example of the medicine list you will follow after transplant. We reviewed how to read this list during the transplant medicine introduction video. Remember, tacrolimus may appear twice on your list because there are two different versions. Always be sure to look carefully at your medicine list to de determine which capsule the list is referring to, one milligram or five milligram. In this example, the patient's total tacrolimus dose is eight milligrams at 9 a.m. and eight milligrams at 9 p.m. Three of the one milligram capsules plus one of the five milligram capsules. Always look to the notes section for important information. There is a reminder to not take your tacrolimus until after your blood draws. Thank you for watching the tacrolimus video. I hope you continue to enjoy our transplant medicine videos.